Hello and thank you for checking out our Quick Tech Tips brought to you by Smart Solution Technologies. This Quick Tech Tip is going to show you how to create your own balloon pop activity in Smart Notebook software. What I'm going to do is show you an example of a balloon pop activity. I'm going to add a fresh page here, go up to my gallery tab, and I've done a search for balloons. Click on, type in the word balloon, click on a magnifying glass, and here we have under Notebook Files and Pages an example of a balloon pop activity. This particular activity happens to be about verbs. So what we have are various balloons that have come out. If we click on the word jump. Jump is a verb, it's got a check mark behind it. The word apple, that is not a verb, we see the X behind it. These can also be reset by just tapping on them one more time. And now the activity is back to its original form. We're going to create one of these activities on our own by adding a page here with the, the Add a Page button. And here we have a blank page. Now, when I go to my gallery, now what I'm looking for instead of a notebook file and page is an interactive and multimedia. Click on this. Once again, I've searched for balloon. That's why it came up so quickly. Drag out your balloon pop image. And there you see I've got a balloon. Now this balloon is pink. There is no way to customize the balloons. Whatever balloon you pull out is the color that you get and it may be a different color the next time you open your notebook file. If you want to get rid of a balloon, clicking on it is not going to get rid of it for you. It's just going to pop the balloon or bring it back. What you want to do is right click on the balloon and then you can go ahead and delete it. So we're going to work with this pink balloon here. And what we're going to do is create a math problem. Now whenever you're looking at a flash object, you'll see it's got different handles than other objects in notebook. Some objects will have these um, little tabs with the three lines, that's going to be your resize handle. When you stretch it out, you can resize. That's also the only way to resize your text. If the balloon is smaller, the text is smaller. If the balloon is bigger, your text is bigger. The other tab here has double arrows on it. Those are your edit arrows. When you click on those edit arrows, you're now able to edit the text that's on the front of your balloon. So what we can do here is, when you click on it, highlight, we're going to create a simple math problem. 5 plus 7 equals. And that's all we're going to do with our balloon. Now we have no way of deciding where we want the text to go except for using the keyboard. So what I'm going to do is press enter a few times so that it's a little more centered. And there's my balloon. Now when I click these edit arrows again, my balloon turns pink and I can see that it's ready to be popped. When I pop it, there's nothing behind it telling me what the correct answer is, so I'm going to have to put that object behind there myself. I'm going to choose a pen, and since we have a pink balloon, we'll use a green crayon. 5 plus 7 equals 12. So, I have my object now, my 12. What I want to do is put this behind my balloon. Now, it didn't go behind the balloon, so what we need to do is we need to order we can do one of two things. We can either select the, the 12 and go to order and send it to the back, or we can right click on our balloon, order, and bring it to front. Either way, we'll have the same effect. You can no longer see the 12 because the 5 plus 7, the balloon is solid and it's in front of that object, but now when I pop the balloon, the 12 appears behind it. When I cover the balloon up again, that 12 disappears because the 12 is behind the balloon. Now if I were making this for students, I would want to lock it in place so they didn't accidentally move balloons when they were popping them. And by doing that, to do that, I would just click on my right, right click on the balloon, lock it in place, and the balloon will still pop. That's how you create a balloon pop activity. The one thing to be cautious of is when you have a great number of flash activities flash activities on one, pa one single notebook page, the page does tend to get a little bit slow. So you can see this one here has got eight pages, and it works pretty well on my computer. But I wouldn't do a, d a balloon page with 30 or 50 balloons on it. That would probably make your, your page pretty slow. So that's your balloon pop activity. If you have any questions at all or if there's another topic you'd like to see on our quick tech tips, you can email us at training at smarterguys.com or put a comment below in the comment section. Thanks for watching!
and check out some more of our quick tech tips.